Because the Zandra is really eager to catch catch a Garrick. He's walking a little bit up here and um, he's just casting and um, trying to catch his Garrick. I'm just taking it easy. Yeah. Well, is your on? Little Zandra is on. Good morning everyone, it's nice and early, really, <coughs> excuse me, really wind still morning, water is a nice, it's a nice glass off on the water, um, tide is running out and I'm here with Zandre and we're going to do some light tackle estuary fishing, um, the main target is going to be um, a garrick. Because um, in last week's video, I told you guys that AJ and, and myself caught a couple of a garrick while we were supposed to fish, uh, well, while we were supposed to net mullets because we saw them and um, we went to his house and we fetched the, the light tackle stuff and we caught three garrick each. So, with Zandre that enjoys his edible, or oh, Zandre that enjoys his, oh, yell. Zandra really enjoys his um, artificial fishing or lure fishing. Um, I thought I'll bring him to see if we can't catch one or two of those garrick that we that we caught because um, he really enjoys the lure fishing. So that's the aim this morning. Um, so I'm just busy setting up the drone here. I would really like to capture the chase and the strike on the drone only thing is that I haven't seen the Garrick this morning we've, we've seen them um, the other morning they were swirling on the water typical Garrick swirls you could see them feeding on the bait fish but I do think the tide is still a little bit high I think the Garrick are a little bit um, more up in the river so they will come down with the dropping tide into this area where we are fishing at the moment but also I think the water temperature dropped a little bit with all that southeast that we had but um, they must be here still so you just have to figure it out and find them but um, I think we just need to stick it out for a half an hour to an hour here um, to wait for those fish to come down gonna use really light tackle um, rods ranging between the infinity light um or ultralight i have ultralight set up here with the 1000 reel but your average setup would be like an infinity light and an infinity medium light um paired with a 2500 shimano reel either a nasky or sahara or um sustain and then um zandra is fishing the supernova medium seven foot seven brilliant rod the best for this type of fishing but um, yeah, let's get that drone up. I can't unlock my phone. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's get that drone up and see what we can see. Zandra hasn't had a chase or a strike yet, so I think I'm a little bit early with the drone. But I'm just going to leave it hanging there. Yes, it's such a beautiful morning. Yeah, Zandra is going to cast his Zara Spook now, so I want to show you guys the action. And he's working the action really beautiful. Like a stave of twitches, Nebuti. Okay, there was the cast. Look at that. Ooh.
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was dead. <laughs> Booty. I got the strike on the drone. <laughs> and Zandra is on. <laughs> Lekker! <laughs> okay, ga terug met die. Wat is dit, Bootie? What happened? Tell us. Uh, <laughs> well, I was just filming him and um, to show you guys the action of the Zorro Spook. They call it the walk the dog. And, um, wait. And sh lucky as we could be, he went on with this beautiful shed and what they call in Australia, a tailor, and in um, the other word in South, Af in South Africa, in Afrikaans, is an elf. But she had, if it was, if the shed season was open, this one would have gone home and either converted into dinner for his mom, or, um, uh, or into bait, because it's beautiful condition, it's nice and fat. But um, I think we're going to put this one back. So, Zandra, we're going to get a hook out. We're going to get a bite in here. Oh, you're so sick. Your hand is a bit, your hand is a feel in the fist. That's it. Now, a bit for him. Lekker, Zandra. Well done, boy. Put him back. Yeah, you can first put him in the water. Wow. You can put him in the water. Yes, put him in the water. Put him in the water. You need to first put the fish in front and then after to track. Tell him up, tell him up, tell him up. Okay, sit down. Track a bit in front and then after to. Oh, God. Mooi! How epic was that? Eh? On the drone. Bah! Got him. Awesome. Because yeah, Zandra is really eager to catch catch a garlic. He's walking a little bit up here and um, he's just casting and um, trying to catch his garlic. I'm just taking it easy. Yeah. Oh, is your on? Little Zandra is on. Oh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the tackle. And Zandra walked up here to make a couple of casts and he's on. Seems like it's a goodie. Spook on that mooi but eh? Not a bad fish at all. I think it's a garlic. And um, we'll get to a little bit of the tackle talk after he landed this fish. Thankfully I brought him along so that um, he can catch the fish <laughs> and I can do the filming. He's slow. Yeah, it's in the kant gehaak like it's my. Ga een beetje langs. Hoe is je draak los genoeg? Oh. Je draak de lijn gevaar. Ja. Is dat? Ik zal hem graag eruit vegen. Dat is een kilo. Ja, dat is een kilo. Dat is een kilo. Ja, dat is een mooie auto. Bibi! <laughs> Zandra is really excited looking at the back. I think that's his PB Garrick. Go, we're gonna knock on. Look at that beautiful fish, guys. Sit on your knee, I'll say stop that fish. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Just two years. Yeah. Beautiful, Zandra. That's what we came here for. Garrick. Yo. Stunning boiki and yes the damage at a supernova beautiful rod for doing this type of fishing 
Look at look at that smile, yeah. guys. Are you happy, Zandre? Yes. <laughs> look more happy, man. Lift him up. Beautiful. Clear Zara spook. Because we have we have really clear water, so the clear. Okay. Zandra really wants to weigh it, so he wants to know what it weighs. Um, so I'm just gonna he's gonna run and fetch his scale. And, I'm, uh, and then I'm just gonna keep it in the water here so it doesn't die. So Zandra is so over his fish protection that he brought a plastic bag with and his scale to put the fish in because he doesn't want the fish to to be get hurt or hooked by by the scale so that was his own initiative and um, I think that is brilliant that's a really brilliant initiative guys 1.75 that's 1.75 kilos that's a lack of fish for the Eshiri um, remember Ga Gaelic doesn't have a lot of weight um, it's a really broad fish and longish, but um, lack of fish to catch on the light tackle, 10 pound tackle. Sandra, get that fish back in the water, please. Mm. Um, gonna set it free and let it go now. I'll need this to more revival on it, Naka. Oh! Swam off beautiful! Swam off beautiful! Pound the potato! <laughs> Lucky guys, yo, it's so lucky to see the little man catching some stuff and um, he loves his lure fishing, I enjoy it as well but um, I actually need to go and make a throw for a change I think I've made like four throws <laughs> yeah. Anyway, lekker That's why we're here boys, that's why we're here Catch and fish, teach the youngsters how to catch them and then also he's teaching some guys some really valuable lessons What are you What's your stalker? <laughs> and also, he's teaching um, anglers some really valuable lessons as well. But look at something like that little initiative that he took about taking a bag worth to put the fish in the bag and then weighing it in the bag. So it's not going to damage the fish at all. So, and and that, I didn't tell him to do that. Um, I just saw he had a bag and he just did it. So um, I think it's really awesome. Um, at a young age, in a tender age of 10 years old, already thinking about conservation and how to protect fish and how to properly handle them. And um, so I think that's really awesome. But um, okay, Let's see if we can't catch a, f a fish or two more. Lekker, boys, so lekker. Okay, I want to go and catch one. <coughs> go and try and fish over there on that little point there um, so I'm gonna leave Zandra here just gonna see if he gets a chase on this on this cast see the tide had to drop a little bit for these fish to come down because they were a little bit up in, in the river so as tidal estuaries work fish come up with the fishing tide and they go up the system and as the tide drops they come down again so the tide was a little bit high for the spot that we fish where we started to fish this morning so that's why we had to wait a little bit and um, yeah they came down I saw one or two boil so I think it's going to get better and better but let me go and try and catch one myself okay I think what I'll do is um, right at the end of the video I'll do a little bit of a tackle talk um, just show you guys what, what gear am I using and I'll show you how the leader setup works and all of those little things but um, I think I just need to go and try and catch a fish looks, looks too much fun so I think I'm going to start off with a clear shiver stick using the ultra light tackle or the ultra light um, infinity I will be so lucky to catch that size leery on the ultra light and um, yeah just play around a little bit it's so much fun this type of fishing um, the weather doesn't have to be perfect, it's fun to do with your kids, it's quick, you grab your bag, you grab your rod, you go, and you fish. It's not packing bait and sorting out bait and worrying about prepping bait and, you know, um, having all sorts of different things and pack a house, a big bucky full of things. It's just grab a bag, grab a, grab a rod and you go and have some fun.
that's 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 what I like about it. And um, it's it's really fun. So I'm just gonna go with the clear 65 millimeter shiver stick, and you work it just like a bucktail. You just bounce it and um, and drop it again. And the thing about it, it throws really well. Really surprised at the distance that you get with this. You see there's little boils here. They don't look like lyrics, these boils just look like mullets. But with the mullets and the bait fish, the predatory fish comes. Ooh, there's a levy. So there's bait fish. There will be a levy. Sure of it. Oh, I had a bump, I had a bump, eat it man, eat it, it's, it's following me, it's following me, it's following me, eat it, oh, it followed me, and I didn't eat it, let's try it more, aggressive approach, oh, it's on me, 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 oh, it's a pack attack, it's a pack attack, oh, it's on, on, pack attack, all right, <laughs> <As you will. laughs> Look at that on the Infinity Ultralight, 1000 Shimano Sahara and 10 pound braid. Jeez, it's so lucky. <laughs> Boys, I love this. It was a pack deck, like a whole shoal behind me, three, four Garrick, chasing that little shiver stick. And that's what's lucky about the shiver stick is you can fish at so many different actions. Um, I was bouncing it like a um, bucktail and I saw him following me, following me and it, it didn't eat it. And then I threw and I had just, I just took a faster retrieve, more aggressive to see if I can't. You're on. I think Zandra is on there as well on that side. Um, so the Garrick are here definitely. But what I was saying, I was trying to trigger a reaction strike, and that happened. And Zandra is on there as well. Is it? Met what? Met what? A stick shed. Oh, there's another one with my fish. <laughs> this is so lucky guys It's not as big as Andres fish But they really good fun. Look at that. Oh, it's bending this little rod Not a bad fish at all. Got him. I'm gonna keep him here in the. What? Bring him in at you. Bring him in at you. There you go. Infinity Ultra Light, seven foot. Such an enjoyable little rod. 1000 Sahara with 10 pound braid. Really thin finesse braid. So much fun and little shiver stick and there we go a little garrick it's fun guys it's really fun you have to try it if you haven't done it before lekker look at that beautiful fish too moy okay one more look before we release him beautiful guys it's a stunning fish look at that lateral line on the fish that black line that's what how he detects his prey but, um, Get him back. Go, boy. Grow big and strong, please. Speedster. 
And here's the Razandre running towards me with his second Garrick. Nog een mooie, Betty. Oké, mooi, hou mooi. Hou je hand achter. Look at that, guys. Lekker. Leg een beetje op. Je noemt zo ook weer. Lekker, Zandra. Cooking, my bro. Kijk, is dat een mooie trap? Zet er een beetje dieper in. Kijk, zet er nu. Oh, mooi. Speedster. Of. Going like a Boeing. <laughs> so, um, you money. I can just say the plug can you work. Oh, it's up me. It's up me. Oh, it's on me. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, oh, on off. Oh, it's on it, on it again. On off. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Shiver sticky. Come, come in here too, buddy. Oh, they're definitely here, guys. Huh? Oh, you work. It was on me. Oh, it's on me again. On me. Eat it. Oh! <laughs> Immediately. Let's just die. Yes, <laughs> that feisty. Feisty little bugger. Really feisty on his light tackle. Beautiful. I wish I wish someone could film him there underneath the water. How he turns and swirls. <laughs> oh they're stunning fish. Oh there's one there's one oh there's one feeding on the surface there. <laughs> oh, I land this fish. There we go, Garrick number two, for me that is, that's Garrick number four for today, two for me, two for Zandre, oh, it's going well this morning, there we go, stunning guys, yo, it's so much fun, it's great, so it's really important to, to handle these fish with proper care, wet your hands before you handle them best would be to have a, a towel or a cloth or something and wet that cloth and put it on the cloth but what i'm doing is is absolutely fine as well I'm, i wet my hands before i handle the fish and i'm working with it in the really shallow shallow water here so it's not causing any harm to the fish at all so you don't want to burn their skin with your dry hands so make sure your hands are Oh wait, okay, let's put this fish back. Zandre! Oh, oh. Next one. Oh, last in this hoy. Next one. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Ah! <laughs> there was three on it and it lost interest. <laughs> Chase it. 
and it goes, chase it, and it goes, and the next one comes in, and you throw it top water. And it's so. Goeie jou ding in te weer. For some reason they don't want the top water lure so I'm just going to change to something subsurface again. That's almost in there. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Get on. Get on. It's on me. Eat it. Ah. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I think it's going to be better as a point. Well, to me, the shiver sticker is the most productive. So, I'm just going to switch back to the shiver stick. I see there's some little sprats and all sorts of things that the garrick are feeding on. So maybe that is closest to the to the profile of what I see, what they are feeding on. And that's why it's, it's working so well. Oh, immediately on. First try. It's on me. Oh, 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 oh. Sit your shiver stick on. Sit your shiver stick on. Yeah. So yeah, I reckon that's that's the story, guys. I reckon they they are feeding on small um, bait fish, and this is closest to the profile of what they're feeding on. What kind of water is Yeah. Did you find that? I'm not stuck in your own. I'm breaking your rug. Take this off. Take this off. Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh. Eat it. Oh. 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 See, that shiver stick is definitely the most productive this morning. Um, so I think it's all about matching the hatch this morning. And they're feeding on smaller bait fish and that's why they're eating this um, shiver stick. Because I had no interest on, on the top water. And first throw on the little shiver stick, um, I had a chase. Second throw, on. So, yeah, that's doing the job. Is this is the This is I'm not for money for Stefan to any. Oh, guys, here's uh, Stefan, aka Jeff, still fishing boss, director. <laughs> Gonna join the party. Oh, shit! Ah! 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 Yeah, so one or two rocks here in the water and um, cut off my <laughs> my um, little hook snoot. Small hook snoot. I'm using like a 0.38 hook snoot and uh, oh, unfortunately it was cut off. But that was a, like always, the big one gets away. So typical fishing story. Good fish. Hook it. I lost it. That's big. <laughs> but anyway, it was a better fish, but gone. It's just. Bad luck and try again. Oh, sorry, bye. Sian. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, achter, Stefan. Go ahead, achter, Stefan. Go ahead, achter, Stefan. 
Kom achter hem, pootje is vis, pootje is vis. Oké, okay, draai, 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 vinnig, vinnig, vinnig. Is jy aan? Oh. <laughs> Stefan is aan, wat is uitje? Zandra het die pootje, Stefan is vis. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Zandra het een mooie elf gevang. Daar is die leervis, daar is die gooi, gooi net recht uit, gooi, gooi, gooi daar. Ja, ik heb nou niet in ultra light gebruikt. Wat jij me voor die loring in terugkoop, ik vind die loring. Ja, ik zal hem terugkoop, ja. Ik hoop dat we gaan rijden op 20%. Ja. Ik gooi net dat ding. <laughs> Double up! Zijn er Jij hebt ook nog opgehouden in, dan ga je bijten krijgen. Oh, double up. Stefan is on. En bending. Mijne. Ja, dit is voor mij is het moeilijk, het is een paal. Dat is mooi vis. En dat is lekker, het is lekker soisvissen. Mooi vis daar van jou. Nee, ze rijdt, dat zal hij. Ik ga er go, lekker double up, early morning in de H3. Krijt van. Ik ga het een beetje voor so het zodat het lijkt bigger dan Stefan's. <laughs> dat is lekker fish, Stefan. Shot. Lekker fun on the light tackle. Deze is zo. Dan is het tagje 53 volk. 49 volk, sorry. 49. Ja, die. Slot. Oh, oké. That's a lekker fish, Andre. That's the lateral line that it used to hunt its prey. And uh, proper propeller, proper speedster. Lekker fish. Is okay, Andre? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I lost two and um, finally this one seems like it is sticking well there's Zandre towing a Garrick <laughs> while I'm fighting one right here oh, I'm not gonna tag this one walk all the way there to Stefan to go and tag it oh. Is it? Here, big meer erratic, erratic actie. Oh, on! <laughs> Immediately. Big meer van erratic actie. Ja. <laughs> oh guys, my cousin Leather stopped here because we actually supposed to go and fish in the surf. We're gonna target some cob and some bronzies. And um, yeah, we came through a little bit earlier and um, we stopped here to see how far we are from going to the surf. And um, I gave him a, a rod, my infinity light. And there he's on. I can't. I can't hold that. Okay. Dat is mooi, want hij heeft getouw gevat, hè? Ja, yes, ze heeft gelukkig. Kan je mij hier om die, die leerfus te vangen? Ja. 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 Ja.
but if you want to sp spend a little bit more money rather spend a little bit more on the rod and slightly less on the reel because the rod has a lot to do with the action of working your lure twitching it and bouncing it uh, or walk the dog whatever you want to do with your, with your lure um, so the rod is really important to have a good quality rod with a good action you want a little bit of a backbone and then a little bit of a softer tip for sensitivity and to work to lure um, the reel just has to have a smooth drag and needs to be um, smooth to um, work your lure I prefer the Shimano range of reels I've just always been fishing with them so anything from like a thousand to a three thousand size in the Shimano range um, sorry it doesn't get this little yeah I played around today with the Assassin Infinity Ultralight with a 1000 Shimano on. It is actually a little bit light, but I wanted to play, um, so to say. So I just wanted to have, have a little fun. The ideal setup for an all round setup, you will only want to buy one setup to fish in the river. Would either be the Infinity, all, um, would either be the Infinity Light or the Medium Light. With those two you can use most of the lure fishing and most of the fish that you will encounter in an estuary it will handle it perfectly so a light uh, or a medium light would be a good all-rounder pair that up with the 2500 add some 10 or 12 pound braid that's basically the set setup um, the nas shimano naski is a really um, quality reel at a really affordable price it's not too expensive but um it does the job and it's really smooth this one right here is the Sahara even less expensive or it's not expensive it's it's actually a real cheapy but it has a really smooth drag and um, does the job perfectly so if you want to fish the ultralight you can fish a 2500 on it but the, the ideal for me is a 1000 it just feels well balanced it's like a small but if you use the medium light and the light or even the, the heavy or the medium heavy um, you're either going to use a 2500 to a 3000 but um, for general estuary fishing a 2500 is fine the two the 3000 is the same size it just has it just has a little bit of more line capacity on it and that's it and then all that I do is my leader length it, I tie it directly with an FG onto my piece of mono and that is about I'd say 1.3, 1.4 meters long and your hook snoot is anything from a 0.38 to a 0.45 um, generally a 0.42 is a good all round you can use either fluoro or you can use Maxima Ultra Green that works really well and then I just use a small lure clip like that one the smallest one that you can find that's just easier when you're changing in between lures that you just clip it on and you're good to throw you don't have to tie a knot every time making your leader shorter and shorter but yeah i think i'm gonna make one or two more throws off camera just to catch one because they are here and um just have a little bit of fun and then we're off to the surf to see what we can catch there and zandre thoroughly enjoyed himself today he caught his pb garrick in the estuary and also the most garricks that he has ever caught in one day he caught 10. Uh, I think we probably caught like whew, close to 30 Garrick this morning. Um, really, really successful and it was a lot of fun. So, yo guys, if you want to see more of Zulik fishing, you want to see more fishing adventures like this one, um, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell to so be notified once I upload a new video. Cheers!